Hey there. In this video, I'd like to show you how easy it is to use parseprompt.ai to summarize a PDF and to generate an output um, using OpenAI, Anthropic, um, and also, if you want, to store the results in uh, Google Drive using our Zapier integration. So let's dive in. So the first thing I need to do is uh, summarize the PDF. Um, what you can see here is I have a prompt um, that I've already created in ParsePrompt. Um, before you do this, you'll need to sign up, create an account, and connect your OpenAI keys. But let me walk you through how this prompt works. Um, you can see here that we are providing a PDF URL as the input. The output will be uh, text, um, but it could be uh, JSON or Markdown. Um, Markdown in particular is great if you plan on writing like a blog post or uploading to WordPress. Um, we're going to use the GPT-4-1106 uh, preview model. This is the newest model, and it has a larger context window, which should um, be able to handle this nine-page PDF that I'm going to, to provide as an input. Um, you also have the ability to specify the temperature, and the lower the temperature, the more kind of uh, predictable and kind of robotic. Um, and the higher the temperature, the more creative it sounds. But the downside of that is that it could hallucinate a little bit. Here you can see the instructions. Um, so in this example, we are, you know, summarize the text from the PDF. Please include the following sections. One sentence overview, summary of key points in a bulleted list, and five quiz questions, including the right answer. Okay, so let's see how this thing does. So let's jump back into our prompts. And here I have, um, uh, this is a, a hosted PDF of the Magna Carta, which was written in 1215. So it's an old document. Let's, uh, Magna Carta, let's process this now. I'll quickly point out that if you want to process many PDFs at once, you can um, download a CSV, you can input the URLs, and then you can upload that CSV to do a batch processing job. Um, so, you know, if you plan on doing this once, you can do it the way I'm doing it. But if you want to do it across 100 PDFs or more, um, you should definitely uh, consider batch processing. Let's see how this works. So while this output is being generated, I'm going to jump into Zapier and just walk you through. I don't have time to create a, an actual zap, but I'm going to show you how you might set this up. So in this example, what I want to do is I want to use Zapier um, to get a processed response. And let me just dive in, grab this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the template that I just created, the summarize PDF template. We're going to hold off on this step. Let's dive back into the dashboard. We might need to wait a little bit longer. Um, what we're going to do is this should generate um, an output from the PDF. OK, so what you can see here is that um, here's the one sentence overview of the Magna Carta. You can see the key points, right? And then you can see the five quiz, quiz questions. Let's see if it actually handled. Uh, you can see here, um, we generated the quiz questions. And you can see here that. Um, it even renders the correct answer um, from the text that you provided. And so you can see here, you can also see um, this is what we passed into um, the AI prompt, right? Which is basically a parsed um, uh, version of the PDF, which OpenAI then processed and generated this output. And so what I can do now is if I test the trigger, I should be able to, let's try it again. What it should do is it should give me an example here, right? So I could then, if I wanted to, I could then set this up to store into, I could store the file in Google Drive. So I could say, I could pick a folder here of our generated outputs. I'm going to pass in the name as the file name, and then I'm going to pass in the, you can see here, this is the text here, OK? And so in a nutshell, this is how you can use ParsePrompt to pass in a PDF, which generates a summary 
in the structure that in in the based on the instructions you provided. But then we can use Zapier um, to automatically take that process response every time that prompt template runs and save um, a unique file with the output in Google Drive. So in a nutshell, this is how this works. Um, and it makes it really powerful, especially for batch processing. Um, once again, you can upload dozens of PDF URLs and you can process them all at once using parse prompt. Um, yeah, feel free to give uh, parse prompt a try, uh, seven days free. After that, uh, plans start at $25 a month. Um, but you can process a lot more than PDFs. You can process YouTube videos, audio files, web page URLs, and, and so much more. So anyway, I hope, hope this makes sense, and uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks.